Welcome everyone. Thank you for attending this talk as part of SIT's virtual open house. Now the theme for my talk today is going to be from passion to profession. So what are we talking about when we say passion? So according to the dictionary, it's a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement for something. And that's exactly how I felt when I first got my PC when I was a teenager. And initially, of course, I just played games on it. But at some point, I figured out how to program it. And it dawned on me that the power of the computer was limited only by the imagination of the programmer. And this was a fundamental change for me. It was what sparked my passion in the Infocom technology uh, area. And I knew that at that point that I wanted to make my career in this field. Um, now, some of you who are attending this talk, you probably have had a similar passion yourself. That's why you're, you're here viewing this talk about the, our, uh, our ICT programs. So the question is, how do you get from the passion to a profession. So what do we mean by profession? Again, referring to the dictionary, we see that it's not just any job, right? It's a job that requires a lot of intense training and knowledge, and it's a vocation, it's a calling, it's an employment, it's a long-term career. So the question now is, how do we go from that passion over to the profession? Passion alone is not, uh, alone is not enough. When I was a teenager, I had great passion about it, but I couldn't go out and get a job as a, as a professional software engineer, right? Because there's a missing part there. What is that part? Knowledge and experience. So you must have the passion combined with knowledge and experience, and to, then you make your profession. Now. Um, how do you get the knowledge and experience? Typically, that's through a university setting. But you, when you think about universities, you usually just think about the knowledge part, and then we expect to get the experience in the industry. That's one of the things that sets SIT apart from other universities, is we, uh, we believe in giving you not only the academic knowledge that you need, but also the real world experience. So for the rest of my talk today, I'm going to be going over how we do that. And I'm going to introduce a couple of the degree programs that we have here in the ICT cluster, which uh, will help you become the professional that you want to be in this industry. First program I want to talk about is the software engineering. Uh, the long title is Bachelor of Engineering in Info, Information and Communications Technology, bracket software engineering, but let's just call it software engineering for short, or SE is how we abbreviate it. This is what I like to call our bread and butter degree program because it covers all the basic foundational uh, information that you need, such as your Python programming, your Java, your C++, your mathematics, but also the soft skill modules as well, career and professional development. So we teach you how to do presentations and how to prepare yourself for job interviews. But if you take this degree program, you're very well suited. You're a generalist. You can go out and apply for any of the ICT opportunities out there. So that's, this is a great program. If you don't really have a specialization area, you just want to get a little bit of everything, this is an excellent degree program for you. The second one that I'm going to talk about today, which is very closely related to the first one, is information security. Now, as you can see, it has the same long title at the beginning of it. That's because these two programs are very closely associated. In fact, the first year, all the modules are exactly the same. Um, that's because even if you're specializing in information security, we still want you to have the basic foundation in programming and mathematics and all of those things that I just discussed as well. In fact, it's very common to see information security students end up getting a job as a software engineer or software engineering students becoming cybersecurity experts. That's very common. <clears throat> so whichever of these programs that you choose, you're well suited for any opportunity in the industry. But with information security, we give you the opportunity to specialize a little bit more in your interest if your interest is in cybersecurity. So learning how to be the white hat hacker, how to detect vulnerabilities in your organization's network, how to prevent those attacks. That's what we're talking about with information security. Now, that covers the knowledge part, right? Remember the bubble in the middle, we had knowledge and experience. How do you get the experience while you're still in university? At SIT, we have a few different approaches that accomplish that goal. The first is our pedagogy, which is an applied learning pedagogy. From the beginning, SIT has embraced the applied learning concept. Uh, as opposed to some other universities which might focus more on theoretical teaching and academics, uh, we, we, we do cover the academic portion that's required, but we have a strong focus on the applied hands-on learning. All of our labs, everything is set up to teach you in the real world way, the way you're going to be doing it in the industry. So that's step one. <clears throat> the next is our project-based learning approach. Starting as early as the first year, our modules, uh, all, almost all of the modules include a group project as part of the assessment component. That means you'll be working with other students on a team very much the same way that you will be when you go to work in the industry. So we prepare you for that very early on by doing these group projects. Next is the integrative team project or ITP, which is a little bit easier 
for me to say. This is a three month real world project that happens in the second year for both information security and software engineering students. And this is an excellent opportunity for you to work with companies, real companies solving real problems. The list that you see on the slides behind me here is, is the, the projects that we did last year with our industry partners. Uh, and you can see some very interesting projects that the students were able to work on. So this is just another feather in your cap when you graduate, another thing to put on your CV as early as year two, you're already getting a real world industry experience. And then last but certainly not least is our capstone. This is a, this is a year long project that happens in your final year and it brings together everything that you've learned over the three or four years that you've been in university. And it aligns with our IWSP. So what is that? What is IWSP? This is sort of our flagship program uh, here at SIT. We were the first university to offer such a long attachment for students. Uh, traditionally, attachments would be anywhere from three months like you probably experienced in Polytechnic with your IPP, or up to six months like some of the other universities do. But here at SIT, we realize that short attachments like that don't really give the company enough time to really make use of uh, the student's uh, abilities. It also doesn't give the student enough time to learn what they need to learn. So we strongly embraced longer attachments, 12 months in the case of both uh, SE and IS programs. This is a perfect time. And we also managed to integrate it with your training so that it doesn't delay your graduation. You're still able to graduate uh, within three and a half to four years. Now, students work on real jobs in, in their IWSP. That's not made up uh, projects or anything. These are real jobs in the real industry. You get a real salary. Um, and you're also not placed. We don't just put you into the job. You actually go, the companies come and put their job description into a portal and the students get to apply for the jobs that they're interested in, go through the normal selection interview process, just like you would in, in the industry. And another point I want to make about IWSP is that this is a green harvesting opportunity for companies. What that means is uh, about 75% of these companies will offer the students a full-time position after the attachment. So that's an excellent opportunity for you to have a, a job waiting for you when you graduate, uh, at least one offer waiting for you when you graduate. So we're very proud of our IWSP program and this is where you really get the experience. So on graduation day, you're ready to go to work in the industry. So what are you gonna do in the industry? Well, software engineer, artificial intelligence developer, machine learning engineer, IT project. The whole, the, 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 the whole career field is wide open to you regardless of which of these two degree programs I just mentioned that you take. So um, uh, fantastic opportunities to, to make your career, to make your profession as a ICT professional. 95% of our graduates found uh, found their careers uh, after SIT. So we're very, very proud of this statistic. And it's not by accident. There's a reason why SIT has such a high placement rate. And that's because we establish excellent relationships with the industry. The companies out there, they know us, they know our students through the ITP projects and through the IWSP attachments, right? And also our applied research projects. So they know that SIT students are very employable. On graduation day, they've already got both the knowledge and the experience to, do, to, to, to start their career uh, in, in ICT. So this brings us back to that uh, equation again. So your passion, now you need to provide the passion. We can't teach you that, but you bring your passion about technology to SIT and we will provide you with the knowledge and the experience to turn that passion into a rewarding profession. So with that, I will end my talk and I thank you very much